So I thought given um, that it's the new year, um, it seems to be tradition for everybody that's got a YouTube channel and they're a geek, they do a sort of a quick tour of their setup and stuff like that. So I figured I may as well like do exactly the same thing. That's my phone making noises. Um, I might as well do exactly the same thing and um, and show you what shit I've got. And uh, hopefully it's going to be short, sweet, blah, blah, blah. So let's actually go straight into it then, I suppose. Um, where should we start? Let's start from the right. So this is the new projector I got. I'll show you the shit over there in a minute. There's a new projector I got. It's an Optima HD 600, I think, something like that. And um, that gets projected onto that wall over there. So that's like nice and big. I might do a review of that at some other point. Um, that's in behind my bed, which is behind there. Um, so that's quite a good projector actually, which is currently connected into my new HDMI switch, which came today, um, which is going into Xbox and um, well a stray cable over there because I can't really have. It's only got two out. Well, it's got three outputs, but it's like mini Display Port and HDMI and DVI. But these two monitors only support DVI and VGA, which is right pain in the arse. Um, but you know, there you go. This is a dock for my laptop, my Vio, which is currently over here. Um, but annoyingly, it only supports um, one output at a time. It's got v HDMI out and VGA out, but it only supports one or the other, not both. So I'm going to have to get an extra video adapter, USB to DVI, whatever, to push it to those two monitors. And then eventually I'll have to get KVM to make... Because VGA out, for some reason, on this is like really rubbish. The signal's really degraded. So I don't know what's going on with that. But anyway, there you go. Um, <clears throat> two keyboards, two mice two monitors as well. So I'll run you through why I've got two keyboards, two mice, gaming, and then standard work stuff. The reason I have that system set up because I don't really want to get, because I use that all the time, I don't want this to get sticky because this cost me quite a bit of money. This cost like, well, five quid I think. Um, I love these keyboards. These Dell keyboards are bloody amazing. So I got one. I bought one myself um, because I've never actually had a Dell machine. I could have knit one from work to be honest, but I didn't really want somebody to claim I was theft. Uh, stolen. Although we've got tons of them kicking around. Um, yeah, they're really good. I love love to type on them. Um, so I, that's why I got one of those and a mouse as well, which is really manky. And I, I, that's why I don't really want to use my gaming mouse, which is fantastic. It's a Rat Nine. Might have a review of that at some point. Dual monitors. You've seen these quite a bit in some of my videos. Um, Dell Professional 24 11Hs. I think they are. Um, they are bloody amazing. Been pushed through. Um, uh, DVI because yeah they only support DVI or VGA which is a pain in the backside but they do have USB ports on the side uh, which is pretty handy um, is where I plug my keyboard and mouse into etc uh, etc et this shitty webcam it's a uh, life cam HD I think it's crap the autofocus on it is rubbish so annoying don't ever get one it's rubbish Bose speakers, I can't quite remember what the actual system is. Uh, the, compa uh, the Companion 3s, Series 2s. Sorry, I had, there was a box up there I was looking at. And the, the subwoofer for that as well. Also, I've got these. Um, these are uh, Sennheiser HD 595s. They're alright headphones. Um, to be honest, they're not that great. But um, I might do a review of that at some point. Um, okay, and over here, scanner, which would have cost me quite a bit if I actually bought it brand new, but I got it from work. They were having a, a sale, a sealed bid sale, I got it for 20 quid. Bargain. It's a very, very good scanner, actually. Um, that's obviously my test scan that's in there. Um, does pretty high good scans. Um, one single USB port coming off of it. No power, no nothing else, which is really, really good. Old phone, which I just always keep charged because I always I call people on that one. Um, long story. Old headphones, business card holders. Uh, old hard drive, what's this? This is a 160 gig. I think that was 160 gig as well. It's a portable one which I never ever really use, but I've got now. I've had it for ages. Two torches because I'm a scout leader and a bit of a bit of a hoarder in terms of just stuff. Two um, USB keys. Um, let's go on to the networking stuff, I suppose. So this big jumble. So this red wire here coming is coming from the the Ethernet port over there, which is coming from downstairs. Then that goes into, um, underneath my desk here, goes into this box here, which is an untangle. This is running as an untangle service, a Dell Optiflex GX520, which I picked up for like 30 quid on eBay. Um, and that's got two keys of RAM in it, um, some 80 gig hard drive, I think, something like that. Uh, Pentium, Pentium 4 HT, I think. Reasonably, reasonably high spec for what I'm, because I don't really need that high spec. So that's that's going into there. The red cable's going into there, and then it goes 
out from there and then goes into my um is it five port switch? Yeah, five port switch. Um if you can don't know if you can see down there at all, lighting's crap. This is all my cabling down behind there. That red cable there is going into uh, the server and then that's feeding this uh, up here the blue cable is going all the way all the way over here to my own separate Wi-Fi point which is a Belkin N wireless router 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 whatever whether or not American or British um, that is currently also feeding as a switch also feeding my um, my laptop dock and my Xbox 360 uh, so good dedicated Wi-Fi in my own subnet blah 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 so over here, I'll go over there again in a minute, very unorganised. Monitor, which is a 16-inch, <coughs> I think. Well old. <coughs> I bought this when I was in college. I had no money. But my mum and dad had their old PC and they got rid of it. And all it needed was a new PSU. I said it needed a new PSU, but they insisted on getting a new computer because they reckoned I was wrong. I was right, I got a free computer out of it. They then had subsequently had it back, but that's another story. Um, so I bought this, and on my measy student um, EMA, I think it cost me, back in the day, something like 60 quid, I think. This is like way, way back. This must have been 2007, 2008, maybe? It was quite, it was a long, long time ago. Um, so we've got some matches. Um, don't ask me, oh, well, I think that's to do with scouting, I think. Remote control. Uh, which is well old, it's a Windows remote control drugs Neurofen knife um, some CDs which we've got, what we've got here, Office 2010 yes that's a legal copy by the way, I've got 10x subscription so STFU Xbox 360 boxes, I do hoard a lot of stuff, just boxes, that's a crappy graphics card I need to chuck um, more boxes, I keep boxes because I'm a bit of a hoarder, I like to keep things in boxes um, that's actually got a keyboard in it, wave keyboard, it's pretty good actually. Um, you can see that. Laptop box, router box, or wireless yeah, access point box, dock box, more boxes, companion box, my wardrobe which is full of crap, my old gun which is an M4A1 CQB I think actually, and a drop leg holster with a really crappy pistol in it. Um, the spring loaded is just rubbish. Uh, bin, shoes, Crap. Rubbish. I'm not showing you over that direction because my bed's over there. So over here then, this is where I had test network set up, which is what that's doing. That's on a separate subnet. And this was Windows Server 2008. Um, and then that was the client PC. Um, and that's, so that's what that mess is really, and that's what that was connected to. That's an old LG 22 inch, which I'm selling. Selling that to housemate. Keyboard, which is running all that. So that's basically that. Helmet and um, pump which I never use because I never actually ride anymore uh, toolbox from when I used to work in a garage the shelf which there's a gollywog there I'm not going to go into well I suppose I may as well um, I had it as a as a secret Santa present no I'm not racist I think it's quite amusing don't hate me for it if you do then it's tough luck um, it's not, I don't think it's a racist thing if you find it racist then it's your own fault really sticks and stones and everything like that you know uh, that's what we teach children but never mind we live in a stupid society <laughs> um, maps outdoor books more boxes more boxes more boxes this is where all the all the learning happens though look my training kits from Microsoft Microsoft Press look at that nice brand new hardly but actually you know where the yeah the Active Directory one that should been used um, Gin O'Clock, that's a damn good read uh, from the Queen of Twitter, brilliant Steve Jobs as well, that's a damn good read um, definitely worth getting that more boxes, more boxes, I like keeping boxes and I think, I think, I think, I think no, oh, actually drawers, we haven't done drawers yet oh, I'm a Monaco keyring which um, I've never, I, my parents went to Monaco uh, but didn't tell me, they, they just said they were going to France so I thought, well, there's no point in me going then and then they went to Monaco and I didn't and I kind of regret it now. This is I tell you what, this desk is bloody amazing. My chair's decided to play Cindy Buggers. Size of it, th this desk is mammoth. Look at the size of that. It's really old though and it's got loads of marks in it, but and this came with a student house, so I kind of swapped it with a mate. It's such a good purchase. Oh such a good steel rail. Stuff like this which I keep my iPad on. In here, <coughs> cables pretty much. Brand new network cables, which is a three meter, that's a three meter blue, two meter greens, these things that, well this, this I had to buy, 
because for some reason the graphics card I had at the time, well actually because I was pushing it to that monitor, the graphics card I had at the time only had DVI out, and that monitor only supports VGA. For some reason the graphics card that I had didn't have one of these, even though every single graphics card I've ever had on Earth has always had one, which they now do look like that one, and like that one. They all come with them now, um, and for some reason that one didn't. SD card reader, sand disk, cheap, cheerful, does a job, fingerprint magnet, as most of the stuff is around here. Goggles for Airsoft, Oakley glasses, ribbon cables in there. This is a this is what I got for Christmas. It's a wallet I got for Christmas, but it's too big, it doesn't really fit in my pocket probably, so I'm not going to do that. I don't really want to get rid of it because it was a present, but I don't really want to use it either. Uh, knife, another knife, I like my knives. Oh there's a port, um thing. Oh, there's my um Bluetooth headset in here as well. This is a damn good Jabra. It's free. Well, I took out my phone contract. I said, what have you got for free? And they gave it to me. Poppy from November. Four port USB hub, which I never use. More cables, USB extension. Um, demagnetized electrician screwdriver. I use that obviously in computers and this is pretty much my main tool of the trade. It's quite used. Um, and it has to move hard drives, etc. without damaging them. My drawer of DVDs and games. Um, the one that really glares out is that one, it's a crap game and don't ever judge me on it either because it's, I don't know why I bought it, but there you go. Command & Conquer, Command & Conquer 3, look at that! Room to a war, which actually isn't mine. Assassin's Creed, Grand Tree, just, you know, general stuff. This is pretty much all the DVDs I own, everything else is stored on that beastie thing down there, which I haven't shown you actually. This is my computer. This is my PC, this is what's running all of this. Um, it's an Antec 300 case, it's kind of quite a crap case really, but because um, I've got lots of stuff in there, I'm not going to show you inside because that's disappointing. Three, three drives, which I don't really know why I've got really all I need was a Blu-ray with a rewritable DVD, but never mind. Um, it's a pretty good, pretty good machine, I need to replace that at some point though. Um, so that's that. No particular order here. This thing, this is a shitty graphics card, it doesn't, well, it's a not a shitty graphics card, graphics card is fine. It's NVIDIA that's shit. Because their drivers are shit, so basically this does not support Windows 7 at all. So you chuck it in, it does not support Windows 7, which means you cannot get widescreen, which is a bloody pain in the ass. So I've actually had to replace, because um, that one over there is a, Dell, a HP workstation, which had that in, and when I want to put Windows 7 on it, it didn't want to work properly, so I put some other crap graphics card in there. Had, it's got dual, um, dual out though, um, dual video out, which is pretty good for the time because it's quite an old machine. But there you go. IR receiver for that remote that's over there. I showed you a minute ago. Chargers for first aid kit, CDs, multiple. Um, what else? We've got some else now. Open probably. Apple keyboard, which I never actually used. I'll probably sell that at some point as well. And um, just general more crap. Coming over this side. Another pretty out thing, but this time with an in tray, batteries for my phone, change keys for the HP workstation over there, pens, you can never have enough pens, my rule number one is always carry a pen, so I've got pens in here, funky two pound coins which I keep hold of because I like, shitty 4 gig, well, it's not shitty, it's 4 gig SD card which I got free from Sony, they said oh it cost, it would cost you 30 odd quid, was like, that's a little bullshit man, so. nail clippers, buttons, this thing, which is a, a fashioned um, thing for you know when you get your um, CD stuck in the tray and you 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 boot you shut things down and you think shit I need that CD that's what I use that for basically I push it in the thing to release the DVDs and CDs and stuff RAM what's this 512 256 random assortment of RAM comb for my non-existent hair and a drawer for the crap again uh, what else we got in here spare bulbs for my lamp my Pixar lamp. Um, an old 20 gig IDE drive, wow, yes, plenty of space there. Xbox Series 60 headset, glasses case, um, yes I do, I'm supposed to wear glasses. Whistle because I'm a scout leader. Parcel tape because I'm also a scout leader, so that therefore means I'm a paedophile, so that's for tying up children. Um, stapler, charger, battery charger, done pretty much. And a, a tangle, and the more tangles of wires, actually the proper tangle wires are down in there, but I'm not going to show you down there, because it's just, no. Old laptop, which is a Toshiba something or other, it's well old, it's a satellite pro, it's like ancient, it's my own mum's old machine. A couple of v buyer mugs, which I'll probably give away at some point. Um, that's, I think there's a money box down there for when I was like two. And some green heat um, fuel. 
Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, there's just like a load of mess everywhere, and also that, which is some butane gas I've just spied. Um, and I think that is pretty much it. Um, I only did this because um, uh, because everybody else was doing it, and I sort of sought inspiration from other people, so I figured, well, I may as well do one. So hopefully this hasn't been too long, and hopefully you now have a proper tour of what my room looks like, or my setup looks like. Uh, hopefully there will be some additions, and I will um, try and do maybe a review maybe in the summer or something like that, of a few things. Well, no, actually, a review now of a few things, and then another tour when I've got a few more bits, perhaps. Um, like, perhaps, maybe an iMac, but I don't know about that. We're just not going to go there for a moment. So that is pretty much that. Obviously, like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter, which is actually chill, and you can also ask me um, random things. Apparently, someone's um, saying hello to me. Um, I shall um, answer that in a minute. That's Facebook Messenger for Windows. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a link in the thing. Me, what's it? That's just sort of reminded me. But apart from that, I shall um, speak to you soon. Um, and yeah, see you later on.